What's it about pay once? Today we're gonna to do a little AP about math minute. Look at the environmental temperatures of a cross. So there's a certain fish in which the sex is determined by a combination of genetics and environmental temperature. Males are going to be ZZ, and then females are gonna be ZW. If they're raised to 22 degrees, that's where we see the ZZ fish being males and the ZW being females. But if the fish are raised at 28 degrees Celsius, that Z chromosome is modified into something called a Z star. So a Z star W is now going to become a male phenotypically, and it can pass that on to their offspring even when they're raised at 22 degrees. Wait a minute, that makes no sense. Anyways, so let's look at part A. Part A says to predict the percent of phenotypic males amongst the F1 offspring in a cross that's given to us. Let's first make a chart because that's a little complicated. So 22 degrees. That means that we're going to see the ZZ as being a male and the ZW as a female. At 28 degrees, we see a Z star being a male and the Z star W is also a male. So that Z star is going to always make it a male. So we see the Z star Z is male and Z star W is a male. So if we look at the Punnett square, we see the first one is a Z star Z. That's a male. Z star W, that's a male. ZZ is a male. And then a ZW is a female. So we have a 75% chance of having a male in this cross. So now part B tells us that you have to have at least a Z or a Z star in order to be um, able to survive. And so they cross two fish, they say two to one ratio, so we need to figure out what is the identity of that male. Well, two to one tells me that one of those offspring didn't survive. So let's do ourselves a Punnett square and see if we can work backwards to solve for what is that parent. So since we know that one doesn't survive, that means that one of them must be WW uh, because that one didn't survive. So we know that each of the parents is going to have a W in its genotype. So then the first one we can think of, okay, well, ZW is going to be a female. So if we fill that one in, ZW is our female. So then we can move our Z out to the outside to say, okay, well, one of the parents is a ZW, which would be the female, which is logical. And then that tells us that this one right here would be a male because we have a Z and, of course, a second Z, which will be our male. So logically, the bottom one's also going to be a ZZ. But that's not possible because we see that that parent donated a W. So how would this one right here be a ZZ? Well, it can't be. So this has to be a ZW. So then how can I get a ZW to be a male? Well, the only way to do that is if it was a Z star W. So it tells me that that parent must have been a Z star W to be the male. Hope that this was helpful. Remember that HBO pain was just assess. Sorry there wasn't that much math today, but that's okay.